Hello and welcome to TEW 2013. I am here now with SmackDown. Let's see how what happens on Friday night SmackDown. Show opens up with Randy Orton kind of promo on one of his challengers at WrestleMania, Chris Benoit, which follows up with Ran Randy Orton with Chris Jericho coming out and beginning to taunt Randy Orton. Randy Orton gets fed up with it and beats down Jericho. Goes out and attacks Jericho. I was hoping this would be better of a match. No, but the match had very little drama and flow with nobody in the ring had psychology. Okay. I really need to pay attention to psychology so I can know what, what the script behind and who can call in the ring and stuff. Huh. Yeah, well. And Shelly cut a good promo. I mean, that's the best promo I think Shelly's cut to date, maybe? I do not remember. And this is a match that I didn't think would do as well. I thought it would, I thought it would do okay, but I didn't think it would get a B. Um, Aries got some penalties. Daniels didn't. only got one. Brian only got two. Cash only got two. So Aries was the main person dragging this match down. But that's the fatal four-way for WrestleMania for the Cruiserweight title, so I mean... I still don't know who's going over that yet, though. Daniels and Aries just cuts a promo on their opponents for Mania. Eh. Standard promo. And Kennedy cuts an A promo. He's he's doing pretty good. Kennedy did a master job, masterful job of improvising interactions with the crowd. Good job, Kennedy. And um, a squash match. That I, I'm, I'm happy that squash match got a B minus. <laughs> Tombstone pile driver in 448. Undertaker dominated. I mean, eh. Orlando Jordan's there. Just the Orlando's on the roster. Just the job to guys now at this point. So I mean, I gave him the U.S. title. So and immediately dropped it to Samoa. Jo I think Joe beat him or someone else beat him. And then Joe beat that person. I don't remember, but eh. A B plus promo where Undertaker swears to get his revenge on Mr. Kennedy. Um, a B minus match for the U.S. title. Joe makes defense number four or Stevie Richards. Stan eh, it's all right match. Um, B plus with some old Joe getting attacked by Christian. This, I mean, Christian has kind of been the odd man out in the promotional stuff for the Money in the Bank ladder match. So he's just trying to make become re become relevant before Mania. And. Kind of a standard Deuce and Domino promo. Angel Williams, also known as Angelina Love, and Talia Madison, also known as Velvet Sky. I mean, they help as always. I mean, without them, they pro they probably get a D promo. Do Deuce and him actually got the same amount of stuff. Good gimmick. High morale and managerial help. I mean, yeah. Okay. Um, good match. I'm surprised Naomichi, Marafuji, and Tajiri got did anything because they're they're barely over. And I forgot to give Mar Naomichi a gimmick. I uh, well, I mean I forgot half the cruiserweights that debut them with gimmicks, so I'm just gonna have to wait until their stuff is stable and just give them keep them off TV till then. Ah. Uh, the, after the match, New Age Outlaws come out. Nitro and Mercury try to take them out with the chairs. They, New Age Outlaws stop them. Standard. Eh. Hit them with the chairs instead. Okay, main event. Jericho versus Ben... No, Jericho. <laughs> Chris Benoit versus William Regal. Benoit wins a short with a sharpshooter. Um, that was a job, but Michael Cole was pretty weak. Okay. Benoit and William Regal had great chemistry. Okay, that's good. Then the final, pro, the final um, what am I? Final like on-air angle. Benoit, Jericho, and Orton brawl, just out of control. Um, it's already booked, and the hype video. Shh. I should have come up with something else to fill the time. I just added, threw that in there to fill time. But a B plus, B plus SmackDown. SmackDown did better than Raw. Um, I always find myself doing better on SmackDown than I do on Raw. Um, 
I don't know why. I think I just have better talent on SmackDown, to be honest. Like, better overall talent. I mean, on Raw, I have bigger stars. But on SmackDown, I have big stars and I have talent. Um, I, I forgot. How over is Kennedy right now? right now he is he is Cena level over I think Cena the only thing Cena has the edge over on is foreign countries and I think he has eh, maybe not even foreign countries but Cena also has an A somewhere I think so I mean the only reason Cena yeah Cena's a little bit better but actually Kennedy's no I I think Kennedy had E in Japan right yeah okay Cena's better and more over but eh and I'm I'm just building Kennedy to be a top heel right now. Uh, let's see here. Who are my ma big guys in the company right now? Who are my top heels? Obviously on Raw it's Edge. Um, brand. No brand. Here we go. Heel. I think. Let's see here. Triple H is a big heel. Um, Kurt is a big heel. Edge is the big heel. Brock's a big heel. Um, do, do I have faces to counteract these big guy heels? I may need some turns. Batista, who I'm saving off to re-debut. I mean, not debut, but he's. I'm taking him off TV. He's gonna return after Mania on SmackDown. Benoit, yeah, he counteracts him on SmackDown. Jericho also counteracts it on SmackDown. Taker on SmackDown. Cena on Raw. Flair on Raw, although Flair's getting pretty old. And the match with Angle at WrestleMania is a retirement match, which I may have... I don't know how I'm going to play that yet. I, I, I'm... Th uh, I don't know. I need Jer I need Flair, but he's also getting all up there, and uh, I don't know. Rob, who... I mean, I don't even know why he's a ma main eventer. Eh. Is he even still? Like, I, I haven't really auto pushed at all. Uh, Sean, he's big. He counteracts on Raw. Big Show. <laughs> eh. I mean, I kind of wish I turned Big Show heel and kept Kane face. But, oh well. The Rock, he counteracts it pretty well. He gets the big money. And obviously, on Undertaker on SmackDown. So I, I think I have a pretty even balance between the shows. Who's hot? Who's not? Victoria, Mickey. See, I'm. I'm. Uh, yeah, I also need to throw her down in developmental. I signed Becky Lynch way before she, they actually signed her. Who? So who does she? Re, who replaces her? Oh man, that doesn't. That does not spell good for that match. It does not for that Mania match. Also, I don't think I actually booked Big Show and Kane for Mania. So I'm going to do that. I don't even know if they'll make the card. Actually, did I? Yeah, Big Show and Kane. I don't know if they'll make the card. Like, there's a lot of matches here. And I still have need 30% of these to be, of, of WrestleMania to be angles. So Kane Big Show may have to be a pre-show match. Um, hell. The tag team title one of the tag team titles will probably have to be a pre-show match well I don't think I have any uh, yeah I'm bringing in seven who is Kevin Thorne I'm bringing him into developmental I'm trying to bring Lance Hoyt into, into developmental but other than that there's no big decisions on the way Diary, Jordan's contract, I need to start renegotiating. Um, okay, it's 29 days, so it's up. It's coming up. Well, with that, I will see you next time on Monday. The final Raw before Wrestle... Wait, no, no, no. Second to last Raw before WrestleMania.